Well, well, well. You showed yourself here again, did you? I didn't think you would. I didn't think you'd ever show your face in this place ever again. Not after what you did last time. And you sit there with that grin on your face and that puzzled look like, I don't know, what did I do? Let them know in the comments what they did. They know what they did, just let them know. It's meme time, it's meme time. Gather all your friends, it's meme time. It's meme time, it's meme time. The only cure for sadness. BB is quite the chonker. Sean's cat BB will now and forever be known as a heckin' chonker. Okay, where, where is he on the scale? A fine boy. That's just 16 to 26% body fat. He chonk, which is 26 to 35% body fat. You're saying that BB is 36 to 45% body fat? How dare you judge him like that? He tries his best. He's stuck inside all day, every day. So it's not like he can go to the gym and push his little teeny tiny dumbbells. Everybody! Big news! The Jacksepticeye Tour documentary is finally happening! I know what you're thinking! Jack, didn't that release five million years ago? Nope! Coming out now, baby! Starting February 28th, you can go to momenthouse.com slash Jacksepticeye. I'll leave a link down in the description to be able to go get your tickets. It's a digital thing. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. It's like going to a movie theater, but... Digitally! So everybody else is going to be there, but you're going to be able to sit in the comfort of your own home and watch this thing. We have a bunch of different time zones that we're doing it for. Europe, uh, America, East, West, and then Asia, Australia, New Zealand. We tried to cover as many time zones as we could with it. And if you want to be there with other people as it's going on, you can go to Moment House and get your tickets there. It's a great documentary, I promise. It's not just a behind the scenes of the tour. It's a journey through my life. You get to see some intimate moments of me when I was a kid. You get to hear about my stories, about my family. You get to have a closer look at my entire life that you've never ever been able to see before momenthouse.com jacksepticeye go get your tickets now jack is wearing his headphones wrong in the new video <laughs> i didn't realize people have been fascinated with the headphones recently because i keep changing them all the time these are sennheiser hd 800 s's i've tried out so many different headphones i am obsessed with good audio and these headphones are expensive they were like 1100 pound and then I go ahead and wear them backwards in the video. <laughs> I don't deserve you! Oh, just the best headphones. Not only do they sound incredible. You know how you wear some headphones and it's like someone's just... Yes. Your ears secure? You can hear well, right? But your ears are secure? Yeah. These headphones, it's more like, oh. There you go. You want good audio? Oh, I got you. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, good little ears. Oh, good boy. He predicted it. What did I predict again? Nostrajacus back once more. <laughs> Rappling hook. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, it makes me feel like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I predicted it. Yeah, me and uh, best friend Tom Holland here, we were talking about it with best friend Ryan Reynolds. How I predicted that, Spider-Man playing... Play, play by... Uh, Nathan Drake played by Spider-Man. <laughs> I love Tom. I love that video. Oh, it was so fun to do. I was so nervous and Tom touched my shoulder. Did you see that at the end of the video? <laughs> Tom, if you want my black PlayStation anytime you want, you can come over and play games with me. I would love to see Jack play this mod when it's available. What is this? This just looks like regular Subnautica. What's happening? Oh! What the hell? What? What is that? Okay, I know that I kept saying I hope that there were like massive creatures in it, like just much bigger. This is taking the piss. That was way big. If it moved a lot slower, it would sell it more. Well, that's just something that you can tweak some parameters and yeah, you know, as a game dev. I do agree though, yeah. There, there was something about it that was a little off, but that's damn impressive. The gargantuan leviathan. I have heard people talk about that a lot. It's the giant skull that you see in the Lost River. Apparently, there's a mod going around that adds that back into the game. And I know people want to see me play it, but I don't really like doing videos where a game gets like a small update. I did that with Subnautica in the beginning, and I kind of got tired of it because, I don't know, I just don't feel right about doing videos like that. It just doesn't feel like I'm adding a whole lot. If there was a mod that changed the game more, if there was like different story that you could do and everything, I'd be down to do that. I just, I don't want to do mods that's like, hey, we added this one creature to 
to the game and maybe there's more i don't know let me know down in the comments since jack likes the old stuff i found this the woman who uses the latest egg separator gets a clean break the yolk wow. and white are quickly divorced sticky fingers are eliminated and the housewife doesn't have to be a juggler <laughs> the housewife doesn't have to be a juggler damn all these other housewives at home juggling their eggs over and over again and she was just like Rookies! The woman who uses the latest egg separator gets a clean break. The yolk and white are quickly divorced. Sticky fingers are eliminated. And the housewife doesn't have to Incredible. be a juggler. Incredible. So there cool. There is also the new gearless egg beater. Its hand pressure operation is facilitated by revolving balls, which maintain speed and balance, <laughs> making it a... <laughs> Let's go! I want that! The new electric donut factory simplifies the deep fry game. One unit puts the batter out. What? While a tank, which plugs into any socket, has a thermostat for maintaining even temperature. You have a donut maker in your house. I got sticky fingers from eggs all the time. And she's over here like hands clean. What is this madness? They had it all figured out years ago. God, life was just easier back then, wasn't it? The new Nelly Holder dispenses paper. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, forget what I said. They didn't have it figured out. Oh my god. No, that is so wrong. How is this so normal back then? The towels with a touch of southern hospitality. Oh, oh no. Oh. <sighs> what is this weird? One <laughs> go. What is this completely weird kitchen? It's like from another dimension. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You lost me after that paper towel holder. I can't, in good conscience, keep watching your video after that. Oh, hey, neat. A donut maker would be pretty cool to have around the- Oh! Yeah. Yeah, remember how horrifically racist everything was back then? Just for the sake of it. <laughs> POV Jack uploads. POV, he's reacting to videos. POV, he's reacting to scary videos. It's 40 minutes long. It's a Friday night. Let's go! That's how we get him! Nothing like a sweet little bit of 40 minute content on a Friday night, baby. Mm, let's go! I think reacting to scary videos is one of my favorite things on the channel right now. It's so fun. There's so much content out there that I didn't even see before, I wasn't even aware of. And everybody's so into it, and the horror community is so tight-knit on YouTube all the time, it's great. Food for thought of mashed potatoes, Irish guacamole. No, this comes up all the time in the subreddit. No, it's not. Stop posting it. You're not quirky or funny or anything like that at all. It's just fucking stupid. These folks are uncultured. Seriously, does anyone actually dislike them? The four horsemen of YouTubers everyone loves. We have Dan TDM, Daily Dose of Internet, Kurtzkasakt, and Mr. Beast. Oh, because you wrote Jacksepticeye and you got minus seven. <laughs> Those filthy heathens. They don't know. Over here on this channel, with the amount of variety I do for you for free, and you hit us with the minus seven? There is no fury great enough for the amount of bullshit that I'm about to unleash upon the world! Yeah, but that's fair. Like, it's subjective. You're allowed to like and unlike whatever you want, really. Everybody's great at doing YouTube in their own way. Everybody has a talent. Everybody has a gift. Everybody has a different corner of the internet that's theirs, and they've built up a community for a reason. YouTube game recognition wins again, folks. <laughs> this is the problem with doing games like this. I can't put it in. I wish I could, but these games just don't have a category on YouTube, and then YouTube's like, Fanatic at Freddy's. That's where I want to be. Fanatic at Freddy's. Freddy's. Does it get me more views, though? Putting Five Nights at Freddy's in this like that? Oh, could you imagine if that was a way of gaming the system? That you could just put whatever game is popular. I could play Dark Souls and put Fortnite down here and be like, come on. Everybody, come in. It's Fortnite. No, I swear. I swear, it's just a new mod. Oh! Ow, he's out! Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a perfect ending. <laughs> just to clarify, he didn't actually die. Just hit his head in the ramp. Sorry for not saying that part. Well, you did put it in the title. Also, this is the section of the video that's probably going to be edited out on the YouTube editor later. And there'll just be this weird cut of me reacting to something. And then it'll skip this and go on to the next. I pointed my telescope at the moon. Whoa. Is that real? Damn, that's so cool. And you're right, I do love space. And I do find this appealing. Thank you. Sandwich. A, a hot dog. 
Bagel. <laughs> Look at the text. Bagel. <laughs> he sounds like a toddler asking for food. Toddler wouldn't even be nearly this eloquent. Sandwich. A, a, a hot, hot dog. dog. Bagel. <laughs> Found Slap Chop in Iron Man 3. Time is 27 minutes and 3 seconds. Uh, yeah, I did recognize it in it. It's so weird to see something that's become so memed on the channel be in a movie way before I ever looked at it. And I know what everyone's gonna say. Jack, when is the Slap Chop video? Okay. I lay out a challenge for you. If this video, this meme time, gets 500,000 likes, I'll do the Slap Chop video. I swear it this time, I will actually legitimately 100% do it if this video gets 500,000 likes. Oh, I'll make it a good one too. I know how much you love your perfectly cut screams, Sean. Yo, this dude just like pulled a Batman on me. <laughs> hey, it's Wellen. I love Wellen. I played Rust with him. That's a good clip. I like that one. Jack is finally famous enough to be on newspaper in Ireland. So proud. There I am, baby. Ireland's biggest YouTuber. You hear that, everybody else? Ireland's biggest YouTuber. Not in height, just in numbers. <laughs> I love that it's surrounded by, like, US warns of threat that Russia will invade Ukraine before fatal crash. And then it's just like, hey, here's a YouTuber, by the way. <laughs> I did do this one, though. Big man in the Irish Times. That was a, a fun interview to do. As someone who grew up in Ireland and seeing the Irish Times everywhere, all the time, everywhere I went, it was pretty cool to be interviewed for it. So you can go check that out. I think I, I tweeted about it as well. My life is complete. My childhood superstars enjoyed my content. I'm so happy, man. What? This one is uh, very relevant because we just finished our Harry Oh, the Potter Voldemort. Marathon. The boy we lived, come to die. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's so fun. God, I love seeing that. And one of the things I love about TikTok is that everyone's name, their watermark is in all of it. So every time you react to it, you're showing people who the clip is from all the time. Love that. But to be able to see them react to it positively and say that they've been watching you for a long time and they're happy about it. That's so cool. I love that. <laughs> Thank you all for another wonderful meme time. Some good ones in this one. I enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun recording this video. I hope you did too. Again, remember, 500,000 likes. And we'll do a slap chop video. I promise. I'll do it. I... The mic is down. I'll do it. I ain't afraid this time. Okay, thank you. Bye.